DevOps Explained, The Phoenix Project, Gene Kim DevOps is an important IT concept that is often misunderstood. DevOps is not just a better collaboration between development and operations. It is a new way of working between marketing, product management, development, test, operations and IT security. One of the few books that explain this well is The Phoenix Project written by Gene Kim. Why DevOps? Many businesses have a complicated IT landscape with many different systems, servers, databases and complex infra environments. Running all these systems is not a simple matter. Each system needs to be configured, monitored, updated, reconfigured and maintained 24-7. The task of doing all this falls to IT operations, a department that is often invisible. Because their work is often invisible, IT operations is often underappreciated. There are also higher security and auditability risks, and an increased number of patches and security fixes for all components. Many organizations are experiencing firsthand that their operations has become a bottleneck. They are not able to keep up with the required changes and tests and suffer smaller and larger incidents as a result. DevOps promises to solve this mess by forging a close collaboration between Dev, Development, and Ops, Operations. Both Dev and Ops have the same goal, to enable business. For Ops this means that they should not just keep systems stable, the business requires change so Ops should enable change. DevOps promises to speed up change releases and reduce mistakes and outages at the same time. Most people are excited about this promise, but do not understand what exactly DevOps is and how to get started. The Phoenix Project, a business novel. In this case, the story focuses on Bill, an IT middle manager and his struggle to get IT under control. Part 1 of the book explains the problems of the Phoenix Project, a large and prestigious project that is held up by our operations department. It is a typical waterfall project that is way behind schedule. It is eventually launched into production with disastrous results. Part 2 of the book deals with Project Unicorn, a new project that is organized differently by Bill based on his new understanding of operations. Using the new knowledge that Bill learned from the first half, the system is designed with operational requirements in mind. As a result all operations issues are avoided and the Unicorn project is successful. What is operations and what is DevOps? In operations is where everything comes together, new systems, changes to existing systems, expectations, audits and security concerns. The amount of work in operations is often not understood by other departments because they see only part of the work. The book defines the four major types of work. 1. Business projects, these are new projects initiated by the business to generate new value. 2. Internal IT projects, these projects are necessary for technical reasons, upgrades of storage, replacing unsupportable hardware. 3. Changes, these are small work packages that are executed in one go such as the replacement of a single server. 4. Unplanned work or recovery work, this type of work is recovering from incidents and fixing issues caused by poorly executed changes. Lack of focus and delusion of the day in IT teams is often caused by unplanned work and leaving no time for planning and preventive work. Many IT departments do not have a clear overview of all changes and this leads to all kinds of surprises and unplanned work. Many IT departments also have not documented their operations knowledge. And are therefore dependent on a small and overworked group of experts that have all required knowledge in their head. In such environment, the amount of unplanned work becomes a self-sustaining circle. This leads to future unplanned work for the limited supply of experts. The solution suggested in the book is to first make all changes visible with a complete change calendar. 
Second, identify the bottleneck resources, often specific experts, and make sure they only work on the most valuable type of work. This way of working is actually quite similar to the way lean manufacturing works. The authors of the book state this explicitly, DevOps is just the application of lean principles to the IT value stream. This is a fresh perspective because it means that DevOps can be applied to any IT department, not just to IT departments with only new systems. Using this definition, it becomes clear that DevOps is not just more communication between developers and operations. It requires developers and other departments to respect the change calendar and understand the available change capacity. They need to understand business needs, security requirements and the reason of IT projects. Developing for DevOps The following list of ideas give an example of what one can do when one masters DevOps. Make changes to IT systems more than 10 times a day, by automating all deployment steps. Test changes in production by developing switches, so that new features can be turned on and off instantly or to a subset of customers. Design the system from the start with audit controls and security requirements in mind. All information is logged automatically so that no additional reports are ever needed. Make all infrastructure settings, scripted and use exactly the same scripts in development and production. Use the infrastructure scripts as active documentation so that anyone in the team can safely deploy changes in any environment. The scripts, all of which are stored in version control systems along with the core, replace the live experts. This radical DevOps story uses many agile ideas, such as talking with the business first before starting development. Also the idea of deploying software often, is essentially an agile idea. What makes DevOps and this book differently, is that it acknowledges that agile only works if one resolves the operational issues. Conclusion? DevOps shifts gears to the new mindset, improving daily work is even more important than doing daily work. Instead of focusing on a single tool or a single method, it provides a high-level introduction of what IT operations and DevOps is about. DevOps, survival of the fastest. Thank you for watching.